And uh, it's my pleasure to read this resolution proclaiming June 2024 as Amateur Radio Month in the County of San Luis Obispo. Whereas amateur or ham radio operators have a long and proud tradition of providing emergency communications, public service, advanced communications technology, and educational opportunities to those wishing to join the ranks, ranks of licensed amateur radio operators. And whereas the American Radio Relay League's Santa Barbara section includes San Luis Obispo County, which is home to over 2,000 amateur radio operators licensed by the Federal Communications Commission. And whereas over 100 amateur radio operators throughout San Luis County are members of the San Luis Obispo Emergency Communication Council, which is recognized by the County of San Luis Obispo as the Amateur Radio Logistical Support Coordination Group. Tap that out in Morse code if you want to do something. That stands uh, ready to provide their own equipment and apply their training and skills at no charge during responses to emergency events. And whereas in the last year, the San Luis Obispo ECC and other ham organizations provided communication support for several different community events, including weekly radio nets, monthly testing from our uh, emergency operations center, the county decontamination drill, and the annual siren test. And whereas during the fourth weekend of June each year, amateur radio operators conduct a national 24-hour exercise that simulates field operations under emergency conditions, this year occurring on June 22nd and 23rd. Now therefore be it resolved and ordered that the Board of Supervisors of the County of San Luis Obispo, State of California, does hereby proclaim that June 2024 is designated as Amateur Radio Month, honoring the men and women who are prepared to serve the county whenever their communication skills may be necessary to protect lives and properties. Scott? Thank you, County Supervisors. My name's Tom Tangden. I'm uh, Vice President this year of SLOEC, which is the umbrella organization, as you just heard. Wanted to say a special mention to Bruce Gibson, who's uh, formerly WB6TTL, and I know a guy that can give you a test when you want to get your license back. <laughs> Thanks for the recognition. I would also like to acknowledge the great support we get from County Com, from the Sheriff's Department, from OES. It's a team effort. While fortunately you haven't seen much of us in action, we've continued to prepare. We have, for example, as the resolution mentioned, a virtual meeting by radio, of course, that brings around 100 hams checking in every week, 100 folks out throughout the county that turn their radios on and make sure they work to check in and see what's going on. So we're ready. We, it's not just sitting in a closet, gee, I wonder where that is. I wonder if the battery's good. We're testing every week. Another example, as it was mentioned, the nationwide drill this weekend, field day. We set up in places that we don't normally operate on emergency power, temporary antennas, and we see how many other hams we can talk to throughout the county. We invite visitors. In fact, we encourage people to come see what we're up to. And in fact, for elected officials, if you want to stop by, we get extra points in our score. So we'd especially love to see you. Make sure you check in so we get credit. So you or anybody, anyone interested can find us this Saturday and Sunday, starting Saturday morning till Sunday afternoon at the Cloisters in Morro Bay. Look for the antennas. At the Warbirds Museum in Paso Robles, there'll be a lot of antennas up there and down at uh, the Rancho Grande Park in AG. We're three different operations this time. So stop by and see what we say, what we mean when all else fails, ham radio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, um, let's see, item 65 on our agenda, did you have a comment on that, Supervisor Tuesday? Um, well, first I, I just, I wanted to ask Tom about how many um, young people are engaged with the ham radio operation. Uh, Cal Poly has a program encouraging the electrical engineering students and others to get, it, to get licensed. Mm -hmm. uh, in past years, it was the uh, 
midterm for their introductory electrical engineering class, we would do 100 or 150. Now they've spread it out and they're doing it online. What we found is that they get active in, in college and then life gets in the way and you have a family and then they come back and uh, become more active later on. But it's a continuing effort and uh, everybody thinks Morse code, for instance, is dead, but <laughs> we have some uh, young college students that are picking up Morse code and figuring out how to, to send and receive that way. So it, it, it's not dead, we're continuing to grow and uh, reach out to the young people. And um, my second question is that, um, is there a, uh, a website or um, what's the resource, where, where do people go for information? I, I think it's a really important thing to promote. I just really love it and I thank you for keeping it alive and all that you do in regards to um, emergency services, et cetera. So. There's a couple of ways to go. If you go to the county website and go to emergency services, we have a tab okay. under emergency services. Mm -hmm. If you go to sloecc.org, that's mm -hmm. our website. And the national website is arrl.org. Okay. Several different, or if you uh, see one of us around, ask questions, we'd be glad to show you what's up. Okay. Maybe we'll see you out there in one of those locations. Thank you. Thank you. Supervisor Gibson. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I, I just realized as you're talking, it was pretty, pretty, pretty much exactly 60 years ago that I was WB6 TTL, and most of my uh, most of my contacts in uh, in my ham radio days were via Morse code. Would, uh, thus, my my aside uh, in reading the resolution. It was also vacuum tubes in the in the equipment, but um, what. Uh, what makes me smile is that uh, your work continues and your uh, your service continues and your ability to reach people and get them enthused about this. It, it is a matter of bringing people together. That within the ham community, I know it's uh, it's a it's a tight group and it's about building community, about doing good things for for folks and exploring the world. So thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to read this resolution, and I'll make an effort to get out to the cloisters on. Uh, on Thanks. One of the things we like to point out in this age of cell phones and cable and is that we have an antenna at the EOC and OES in Sacramento has an antenna and when we talk they listen and there's no repeater there's no fiber there's no other infrastructure in the way hmm. so it doesn't matter what is broken we can still talk to Sacramento it's awesome thank you cool thank you so much